I'll be reading from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And this is one of many Bible verses focus on the new year. Bible verses on new year. It's December 31st, 2022 on above average winter weather. The high today will be 36 Fahrenheit, which will be the warmest New Year's Eve recorded in Minnesota history. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is one of many Bible verses on New Year. Happy New Year. 2 Corinthians 5. Tomorrow. To Happy New, New Year. Yep. The New Year. January 1st, 2023. So I'll read 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Earthly tents, eternal dwellings. Verse 1. For we know that if the tent, our earthly home, is torn down, we have a building from God. A home not made with human hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan, longing to be clothed with our heavenly dwelling. If indeed after we have put it on, we will not be found naked. For we groan while we are in this tent, burdened because we don't want to be unclothed, but to be clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. Now the one who prepared us for this very purpose is God, who gave us the rouse as a pledge. Therefore we are always confident and know that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and prefer rather to be absent from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether at home or absent, we make it our aim to be pleasing to Him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat at Messiah, so that each one may receive what is due for the things he did while in the body, whether good or bad. The next chapter section theme is Ambassadors for Messiah. Verse 11. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we are trying to persuade people, but we are... Is, but what we are is known to God, and I hope it is known to you, your cons conscience as well. For we are not commending ourselves to you again, but giving you an opportunity for boasting about us, so that you may have something to answer these who boast in outward appearance and not in the heart. For if we are out of our minds, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For the love of Messiah compels us, since we have concluded that one died for all, as a result all died. And he died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for the one who died for them and was raised. So from now on we recognize no one according to the flesh, even though we have known Messiah according to the flesh, yet now we no longer know him this way. Way. Therefore, if anyone is in Messiah, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now all these things are from God, who reconciled us to himself through Messiah, and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. reconciliation. That is, in Messiah, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against him. And he has entrusted the message of reconciliation to us. We are therefore ambassadors for Messiah, as though God were making his appeal through us. We beg you on behalf of Messiah, be reconciled to God. We made the one who know, knew no sin to become a sin offering in our behalf, so that in him we might become the righteous of God. Amen. Verse 21 in the book of 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 one of many Bible verses on the new year praise the Lord hallelujah 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 praise ye the Lord praise ye the Lord hallelujah praise ye the Lord hallelujah praise ye the Lord hallelujah praise ye the Lord happy new year Lord we pray that everyone here 
that hears this or watches this will have a blessed new year of 2023 or whatever new year it comes in the future. May the past, they forget the past and focus on the future on what you have in store for them. Show them, Lord, what plans and purpose you have for them in 2023. No matter what challenges we face in the new year, help us trust and depend on you and our faith will grow in you. In Yeshua, Messiah's name, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah.